to access Biosis Citation Index, first log into the University Portal, select the A to Z list of online resources link from the Resources tab, and then choose Biosis from the alphabetical listing. Biosis is a very structured database and you can use that in your searching. I'm going to look for information on evolution of fish. So looking at the evolution idea first, I'm going to use the major concept option from the drop down menu. I'm selecting major concepts and you use this type of search for broad subject searching. And you see when I selected major concepts, this little link here appears, select from list. I can browse the list of major concepts or I can search to find a particular word within the major concepts. I'm going to type evolution and click on find and I'm shown a list of major concepts that are related to evolution. You can see one here, evolution and adaptation. The little S here are the scope notes. So if I click on S, it will give me more detail about this major concept and explain what it's used for. So it says here, studies of the philosophical, theoretical and experimental conditions for the origins and subsequent descent and modification of life. So it's very useful for my topic. To use this major concept, I'll just click the add button next to it. And when I click on add, this adds the major concept to the box at the foot of the screen and then to use it in my search I'll just click OK. And now you can see the term is added to my search. I'm going to continue searching for the fish idea and I want to add another field. And the way to search for large groupings of animals is through the search called taxa notes. So I select taxa notes and when I choose taxa notes you see immediately a list of taxa notes appear and I can simply scroll down this list or type a letter and it will jump in the list. So if I select F, it will jump down to fish. Just click on that term to highlight it. And then when I click on search, I'll be looking for evolution and adaptation as a major concept and the fish in taxa notes. So I found more than 16,000 results. I'm just quickly going to look at the first record in the list. In the detailed record, you can see at the foot there's a categories and classification section and this is where all the indexing terms are added. You can see here in the major concepts section evolution and adaptation is there and then in the taxa notes fish is there. The indexing terms are added to describe the content of the article. Back at the top of the record if you click on the full text button then you'll get to see check web bridge. You also see there's an add to mark list option so you can mark records for saving them. And on the right hand side here you can see that I now have one item in my marked list. Once I've marked a few I can select the marked list option here and then I'll be able to save, print, email my records, output them to RefWorks if I want. To go back to the list of results I just select the back to list link here. So I found a very large number of results. I could use the refine results options on the left hand side to narrow my search results further. So I could choose any of these. Or if I go back to the search page and clear out all these fields, I could carry out another search and then use the search history option at the top right hand side here to combine a search in with my search strategy. There are a number of useful indexes in BIOSIS. You would use the topic option for general keyword searching. The title option is searching only the titles of articles, so that's a very useful way to be very specific in your searching. And there's other indexes, for example, chemical and biochemicals, very useful, or you would use taxonomic data search if you're looking for a particular species.